Hi guys. So here's a topic for you that I have been thinking about for so long. <laughs> I think we all desperately always seek ways how to be more attractive and how to portray instant confidence. So here's my list of things that I found to be truly important in that sense. One of the most important things is your posture. Whenever you think about a confident, attractive person, they're always standing tall. They're elongated and they always command the room in a way. So the best thing you can do is try putting your shoulders, shoulder blades back, your chest slightly forward and your chin slightly up, higher than you usually carry it. Chin up, chin up. That used to be my little trick that I would just constantly do like this for myself if I feel like I'm lowering it down. First of all, it hides your second chin if you have a few layers like me, for example. So just snapping it back into the place. Then, of course, stretching your chest muscles and tightening and um, uh, and strengthening your back muscles. One of the main things that we were taught in massage school is that almost everyone has very tight packs and overstretched packs. So we really don't need to do too much of the back stretching. We need to do lots and lots of chest stretching. We need to strengthen the back and one of the easiest and the quickest exercises you can do right now, try with me, five seconds. Put your ha hands in a W position, bring your shoulders back, and then push it down. And hold it for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Good. You're one step closer. So to chest stretch, to stretch your chest, um, one of my favorite stretches is on the floor. On one of the rollers, where you would just lay back, and you will flip your hands as far as you can, and you just lay like this for at least two minutes every day. Whenever you have an option, stretch your hands back like this as much as you can. Every time you walk through a doorway, hold it on the sides and just give yourself a, st a stretch as you pass through the doorways. Always keeps you back. And one of the most interesting exercises you can do is walking with a book on your head. I used to do it so much when I was a teenager that I taught myself how to walk straight and how to keep this confident posture all the time. So put a book on your head and try walking across the room. If it doesn't fall down, you're doing great. Try walking faster and then try walking around your house. And if you can do it fast all around your house, you're doing great. <laughs> Healthy hair. So we really all know how it feels to have a good hair day. It's amazing. It feels like you're in control. It makes you feel attractive. You are more attractive and it gives you a boost of confidence. So I suggest getting a customizable hair care product line. And this video is sponsored by Function of Beauty. I have been a fan for almost a year now, even before any of the sponsorships. That's all I've been using on my hair and you can see it's super soft and shiny and I truly believe that's why I grew so much quicker than I usually would have. I love that Function of Beauty Hair Care has no parabens, sulfates, GMOs, toxins. It's 100% vegan and cruelty free as a new nursing mom. All of that is very important to me. You simply fill out a two minute uh, quiz outlining your hair type, your hair goals, choose your color and fragrance, or you can go dye and fragrance free if you wish. So this time around, I went with this seafoam green color and kind of a summer vibe <laughs> going on here. I like that you get really cool customization with your name across each um, bottle and I cannot appreciate enough the pump option that they have because it's so convenient to use in the shower. You know, anytime you do your hair, 
it's an act of self-care it's it's pampering time and if you can find time to do something more deeply nourishing i suggest you use their masks i absolutely love their hair mask i use it once or twice a week it's very nice and rich leaves my hair super shiny super silky it's incredible it's so lightweight still this is my list of hair goals if you're interested in seeing what formula i use and please follow my link below to get 20 percent off your first order and get it scheduled you can change your formula anytime or you can cancel at any time as well i think it's so convenient so please think about it having strong healthy hair can be the only accessory you can sometimes wear and you can totally get away with it because it's natural it's a part of you and it's so beautiful so make sure you get the right products for your beautiful hair i always think that cheerful people who smile a lot are very attractive they're full of confidence they just ooze positivity you know those people who just know how to use humor and charm and they just light up the room bring only the best in all of us who just smile so big and always see positive things and inspire us to achieve our goals i find those people like little i don't know like little stars little angels walking among us and i just always just want to be next to one of those people so sometimes when you don't feel cheerful faking it yes that's right that's true faking it or pretending to be cheerful can actually improve your attitude and help you feel more cheerful it's just like smiling if you force yourself to smile i know processing strong emotions is extremely important and you should let yourself feel emotions whichever ones they are not only positive ones but if you feel in a moment like you're just daunted and you need to snap out of it fully smiling and cheering up even faking it again will make you feel that way you will feel like smiling and you will release good hormones and your body will feel like you are actually smiling on purpose so try to implement more of that and i wish we can all be more of those little angels they are always smiling and just like a little light bulb walking around a little sunshine <laughs> i love this people so much oh my gosh i hope i meet more of them in my life but i do have a few of them and they're so so important to me and i find them to be so attractive so this one goes without saying and that's having healthy skin with age we lose a lot of different production in our skin and the best way to get that glow back up is by exfoliating often not overdoing it maybe once twice a week depending on the type of exfoliant that you choose peels masks scrubs vitamin c serums retinols whatever it is that you choose to do doing it um a weekly or on time all the time resurfaces your skin brings up the glow from inside out it evens out your complexion increases the blood flow it helps to prevent acne and it helps to prevent deepening of lines since you're resurfacing them literally it helps all other products to be absorbed into your skin more properly and overall it just gives you again a bounce and a glow and awakened look so i hope you agree with me on that one and of course please don't forget to wear sunscreen on your newly fresh exfoliated skin to to, to preserve the beauty for longer <laughs> building a confident voice i think many will agree with me that sometimes you can be attracted to a person just because of the way their voice sounds and sometimes we can fall in love with people over the phone i think <laughs> It can really give you a different feeling when a person is speaking from their diaphragm they're taking pauses they're 
stopping to truly listen and not just waiting to respond quickly and rushed and come on kind of give me an opportunity to speak to truly stopping trying to process what has been said to you and then responding is so mature so confident and it feels so good to converse with a person who's not rushing over you who's not interrupting you constantly so it's something to consider too is having confident voice and sometimes it means dropping your voice just one one notch one level down usually so you don't speak in your hand voice or your throat voice but speaking from a diaphragm so almost breathing out as you speak out loud i find it to be very sexy and very <laughs> attractive I hope you agree with me on that too and there's so many lessons that you can take on on youtube that are completely free to learn how to have and how to find your true beautiful voice okay guys thank you so much for watching please let me know what you enjoyed the most out of my tips today and what are some of the things that you have found that can help you feel attractive and confident um, instantly please let me know in the comments and maybe we can have this discussion um, further in there too thank you so much for watching bye bye